as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be comparing Kroll to PB Blaster. Now, that being said, Kroll is considerably more expensive, so it should work better. But that is not always the way that it goes, so we're going to find out. Right here, I have both the exhaust manifolds off of this truck. Dang, these are rusty. Uh, really rusty. So, I'm going to PB Blast one, and I'm going to Kroll one, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to do this as scientifically as I know. This one right here is going to be the PB Blaster, and this one's going to be the Kroll. We're doing these bolts right here, and these right here. So remember this one, this, uh, this is on the Kroll one. I'm going to go ahead and give these a little bit of lathering with the PB Blaster. And hit these with a little bit of Kroll. Now I'm going to let them both sit there for three minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'll hit them with a little bit more just again. And then I will pop them just a little bit with a hammer to see if I can't break the surface. And then we'll see if we can back any of them out. And these things, they are stuck on there too because I was trying to impact them out and we could not even impact them out. Now we did not have any type of lubricant, no PB blaster, no curl, nothing. We was just giving it to beans on an impact gun and it was not budging. So I'll be pretty surprised if either one of these break these loose Alrighty, it's been three minutes so pb blaster one we're gonna soak these down a little bit more if we was going i'll smell crow winds so now i just got a ball peen hammer right here gonna tap them this is the this is the crow one so we're just gonna we're not trying to go ham. That's not the point. We're just trying to break the little rust, the little surface. It's the, uh, the PP Blaster one. So now I'm going to give these probably two more minutes, and then I'm going to soak them one more time, and then I'm going to hammer them one more time, and then we're going to start trying to break these bolts off. We're going to go ahead and give them their third soak in right here. We're going to go ahead and pop them with a hammer one time. All right, let's see if these things will break free. We're gonna try just a socket first, and if they don't break loose, then I'm gonna break out a breaker bar. I know you guys can't see the best. This is the PB blaster bar. Well, see, PB blaster bar. Since Kroll is like 30 more dollars than PB blaster, we're giving PB blaster home field advantage. Let's see if they'll break loose. No. Okay, obviously you can tell this one's the Kroll one, so let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so neither one is just coming loose. So let's get the breaker bar. So we're gonna be back on the PB Blaster one. I've got to do this one on the ground. My breaker bar of choice is a trampoline pole. I'm gonna stick this on. Then I'm gonna stand on this and then I'm gonna see if it comes off. I got destroyed by fire ants to get you all this concrete, but hopefully y'all can see it a little bit better now. This is the PB Blaster one. So it definitely broke loose. I had to push pretty hard. I'll probably do it by hand now. Hmm. No, <laughs> it just broke the bolt actually. Uh, that nut's still on. Let's try this other one. Well, that's a terrible noise. Okay. So it, uh, yeah, it backed that one out. Yeah, so as you can see, this one right here is the first one. The nut is still on it, and it just broke the stud up here. 
but this one right here it actually pulled the nut off like it was supposed to the reason that i'm only doing two is because this third bolt right here i broke with impact so we're only testing two so pp blaster got one out of two points now let's see what crawl can do so we're going to do the exact same thing i'm going to get my trampoline pole and we're going to break it It's just breaking the bolt. Let's go ahead and try this one. Wow. All right, as you can see, it backed the nut all the way off. The difference between the two is that I had to crank the PB Blaster one a little bit more with a trampoline pole before I could start ratcheting it with my hand. The curl one, I broke it loose and it backed right out. Just for kicks and wiggles, I'm gonna go ahead and use this other bolt because well, why not, basically. Curl her down. Wow. Uh oh. Okay, well it was going good. Hmm. Now I broke it loose and now I can't turn it. I'm broke. So let's do a quick overview of both of them real quick. So here's the breakdown of the pros and cons of the PB Blaster. The PB Blaster is very cheap. It is $5.97 at Walmart for an 11 ounce can. It has a very nice on and off switch, which I do like. You can control how much is coming out. With my experience, there's been no seepage, so that's always nice. It has a straw and a no straw attachment built into the head of it. So you don't have to keep up with the little straws. Really the only cons that I can say about it is it does tend to take a little bit longer and a little bit more than the Kroll. It does have a pretty harsh smell, but I feel like most of us are grown men and women. I think we can get over that. Sometimes the button on top can be very hard to press, especially compared to like Kroll. But again, I think that's something that we can overcome. There's a breakdown of the pros and cons of the Kroll. Kroll makes much bigger cans. The smell is not as harsh. It's easy to use, the button's super easy to use. It tends to work really fast. You don't need a ton of it and you don't need to let it sit for a long time. The cons is really expensive. For a 16 ounce can, it is $33. That is insane. No on and off switch, it's just always on. And this can, granted it's very old, tends to leak a little bit. And to my knowledge, there is not a can that Kroll sells that has a straw unless it just comes with a straw that you have to keep up with all the time. To be completely transparent with you, this is not my first time using either one of these products. So I kind of have a little bit of bias. I do think Kroll tends to work a little bit quicker and you don't seem to need as much product. That being said, you are paying th almost 30 more dollars for four more ounces. And that's kind of absurd. And Kroll's really good, but I think you could get almost every job done with PB Blaster, especially if you're patient, especially if you used a little hammer trick. Go ahead and let me know what you think. Suggest some more that I should try out. Uh, I can do another series like this. These are the only two I've used, so the next one would be completely random. I've, I've never used either one of them, so just let me know what y'all think, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video.